it was in third grade, I think. Uh, we had this really strict rule where if you if you got like C's or D's, anything less than A or B, you were like not allowed to play video games for two or three weeks. And then I got a C in writing, I think. And then I started beating myself down because I thought that I was super smart. I was the son of my mom, who is a teacher, so I thought that automatically made me pretty much a genius. Uh, I, I started getting really stressed, like, what if it keeps happening? What if next time I get a D, and the time after that I get an F? And that barreled into depression, I think, which started in fifth grade. I'm way more open with everyone, you could say. I like my teachers way more. I don't bottle up my anger and hope that it goes away. If I'm angry, I get angry. If I'm sad, I get sad. So that causes kind of mood swings, but not to the point where it swings me back into one of the episodes, you could call them. So what really helped was last year's special ed teacher. She helped, like, she gave me breaks too, but not as often as I did the previous year. She gave me breaks, and I like my teachers a lot more, which helped. It lets me be me more often, and it doesn't hold me back to not be me. So I've made more friends, which helps. I, when I'm here, when I get mad, I get really mad instead of bottling it up until it becomes an actual problem. And I think that that's why talking to my mom and even my dad sometimes really helps. Another thing that I think helped the transition from that helped me be such in such a good mood now was me going to Ireland with my grandma. I just got to kind of leave everything here, here, and have a good time with my grandma, which it just let everything go for me. And then I started showing my emotions way more, which I think helps. And now I, it's, I don't bottle anything up anymore. I'm always very vocal about my opinions.